Saturday, May 21st, Mila's doing an open house and I'm going to Daytona. From Orlando, it's about 60 miles. There's Orlando, there's Daytona. In Daytona, there's a boat show. You don't see that in Orlando. Donate blood today, I should go donate one day. And that, my friends, is downtown Orlando. That's right, I run the show. Once you pass Orlando, it's pretty much uh, probably about 45 minutes of this. Nothing special. This is what it looks like when you're being watched in Florida. Halifax Harbor Marina. Let's see what's going on with this boat show. Oh, I won't have to walk much. Drove around in circles and finally somebody's pulling out here, but nice to have a uh, boat show and not have enough parking. Look who greets me. Hey, Peter, HQ up? Events, Tube.com. Hey, we meet again. There you go. There you go. And this is what happens when you bump a tree. Thank God I'm a, a redneck here and I don't mind a little bit of dirt. Now, but there's ants in there too. Shit. Well, so far the first part was like walking through a flea market. That was Peter's comment. <laughs> oh, there you go. This must be where the little cheap boats are, so I can't wait to see the million dollar ones. So the flea market type stuff was up there. And let's see what the big boats have to offer. Look at this. This room, huh? Holy cow. <laughs> I could handle this. Huh? I could handle this, just not the price tag. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the stairs to come up. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Now we're on top. Nice. There's a dog in the foot. <laughs> oh. Nice. Imagine parking this thing. So this can be yours for how much? Peter, when you graduate college, you gonna get one? Can I have 2.9 million? 2.9 million, is that what this one is? I think so. I think he meant 2.9 million in loans when he graduates college. There you go. Yes, that could be yours for 2.9 million. It's called Marine Max. It's confirmed. The price is 2.9. Marina. So Peter and I decided we're gonna go hang out where the little kayaks and canoes are because that's more affordable. Now, insect on acid, 
What do you think, Peter? You think they'll approve us for a loan for these? Yeah, I think I can fit in that one. How about you? I'll probably sink it. <laughs> now that was funny. Yeah, I can't wait to see insect on NASA. Go ahead, comment. How come I'm not with a hot babe and I'm with Peter? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. What's wrong with you? We don't need nobody. I just need your body. Nothing. You're it. You're the one. You're going to get everything free because you're the closest one to the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, make your way up here because we have free stuff. And don't make you wait any longer, you guys. We're going to start off with contestant number one. You got to make some noise, you guys. Contestant one, let's hear from Miss Paige. Miss Paige is 5'4", and her measurements are 32, 24, 36. Next up, contestant number two. Let's hear for Jennifer. This is Miss Jennifer, 5'3", measurements 32, 32. One more time for Miss Jennifer. Next up, we have contestant number three. This is Alexa. Alexa is 5'8", and measurements 34D, gentlemen. Let's hear for Alexa. This is Monet, 5'7", 36, 26, 38, gentlemen. We have contestant number five. Let's hear for Tamara. Making her way to the stage, you guys. Measurement 36, 24, 35. And next up, let's keep it going for contestant number six, Miss Kristen, making her way to the stage. Let's welcome her out, guys. She is 5'3". Measurements 32, C, 23, and 35, gentlemen. Let's welcome out Miss Dana. She's 5'5". Five five. Measurements 34, 24, 36. Next up, Miss Catherine, contestant number eight. She is 6'2", gentlemen. Let's welcome to the stage Miss Catherine, contestant number eight. Contestant number nine, this is Ashley. Show some love. She is 5'7. That's contestant number nine, Miss Ashley. Up next is contestant number 10. This is Cece. She is 5'4. And that was contestant number 10, Miss Cece. And next up, we have contestant number 11. Lena May, contestant number 11, she's 5'3". This is contestant number 11. Let's make some noise one more time. This is contestant number one. Miss Paige says when she grows up, she wants to be a physical therapist. Anybody in to be her demo? Her best feature, ladies and gentlemen? Her butt. Can we do agree or what? Yes, ma'am. We appreciate it. That's contestant number one, Miss Paige. Thank you. Next up, returning to the stage, Miss Jennifer, contestant number two. Says what turns her on are men in uniform. Anybody here today in uniform? When she grows up, she wants to be a nurse and a loving mom. That's so sweet. And what she does for fun, she loves getting tattoos. We appreciate those. Great job. Yes, and number three, returning to the stage is Miss Alexa. When she grows up, she wants to be a, she wants to be a dietitian. And her best feature, her lips and her hair. Do we agree with that? We like it. Again, this is contestant number three, Miss Alexa. Great job. Contestant number four, returning up is Monet. Let's hear from contestant number four. She works at MixingSexy.com, so make sure you get on there and check them out. What turns her on? When people cheer for her at competitions, let's hear from Monet. And how she describes her ideal man is smart, funny, and rich. Well, I'm right here. Let's hear from Tamara. She's a hairstylist, and what turns her on is a great bottle of wine and laughter. She says her best feature is what you see is what you get. Well, do we like what we see or what? That's contestant number five, Tamara. Great job, baby. We have contestant number six. This again is Kristen. 
Fun, plays sports, softball, beach volleyball, and likes to play soccer. And next up, contestant number eight, let's welcome back Miss Catherine. What turns her on is nice teeth and the man that can catch a fish. Well, I think you're at the right festival, sweetheart. Anybody out there can help her out? She likes to uh, be on the beach and fish, so if you can catch a fish, you won already. But this is Catherine, contestant number eight. Great job, thank you so much. And next up we have Miss Ashley, contestant number nine. Let's make some noise for her. She works at the wing house and likes to work out and run for hobbies. And her ideal man is a muscle man. Any of those in the crowd? All one of you? Well, next up we have contestant number 10. One more time, let's hear for Cece. What turns her on, boys? Neck kisses, watch out. What do you want to do when you get older and grow up? She just wants to be famous and take selfies and drink beer. I love you. I mean, wait, was that too quick? And last but certainly not least, contestant number 11. She works at Salon 316. What turns her on? Boots. Duh. What do you want to be when you grow up? Paradise? Heaven? Okay. 